let me be clear, at least on this one thing. If your argument is that two plus two equals salt, the fact that you've read up on it extensively just makes you dumber. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm deferential to expertise, but to be an expert in something, the thing has to exist. You can't be an expert in sexing chupacabras no matter how much you read up on the subject. I don't need to examine astrological charts to know stars don't influence our personalities. I don't need to read books about homeopathy to know that water doesn't have memory. And I don't need to work my way through Girdle's ontological proof to reject the notions of God. I'm reminded of this constantly because there are a couple of jackass apologists who follow me on social media and chime in constantly to scoff at my oversimplification of theistic arguments. Have I even read such and such obscure theologians specifically chosen for their obscurity? Am I even familiar with St. Berthenhauer's 22 statements or whatever? Do I even theology, bro? And of course I haven't. Of course I'm not. And of fucking course I don't because I'm not a fucking idiot. Two plus two doesn't equal salt. I already knew that without reading any books on the subject. Now, I'm not saying an intelligent person can't learn about this shit, right? Like, I got a lot of colleagues that want to get down in the muck and wrestle with these dumbasses. And if that's your thing, I'm sure it helps to read up on all the abstruse dumbassery that they're going to throw at you. Some people are just fascinated by the variety in religious beliefs or enjoy the mental exercise of picking apart bad arguments. Some people are just trying to get their heads around what they used to believe. But for it to be an intellectual pursuit at all, you have to start off by rejecting the premise. Like You can learn a lot by reading Shakespeare's plays, but only if you admit that they're works of fiction going in. But that doesn't seem to occur to the apologists on my fucking Facebook page. They chime in with their well-sourced arguments and their obscure citations and seem to think they've just demonstrated some kind of intelligence as though having that kind of knowledge should improve our estimation of their intellect. But this is definitely one of those rare cases where demonstrating knowledge betrays stupidity. I, I mean, if the person arguing on behalf of Jesus comes at me with some, but what if you're wrong or why are there still monkeys level bullshit? I realize they've just never seen the counter arguments, right? They, they believe what they were told. They never really questioned it. And they clung to the first half ass argument the preacher man gave them. And I can respect that to a certain degree, Right. Like as much as I love to learn new shit, I know I can't learn everything. There are certain subjects I don't bother to look into. That's true for everybody. You know, if you show up with arguments that are that bad, you haven't shown yourself to be stupid, just uninformed. But if you show up with the latest and greatest in Christian apologetics, that's because you're stupid. I mean, think about it. We're talking about people who got all the way through an apologetics book without realizing that they were wrong. Multiple books in many cases. That's pretty fucking stupid. They, they went all the way through without ever thinking to themselves, ah, oh, wow, a couple thousand years we've been trying to pin this shit down and this is the best we've managed, huh? What's worse, they went back for seconds. They kept going back until they'd exhausted all the mainstream shit and went looking for the obscure stuff. That, my friends, is your stupidity doubling down on itself. And that's what makes it so hilarious when they brandish this like some kind of badge of brilliance. I see them toss off the arguments of atheists for being unsophisticated as though their nonsense required sophistication to refute. At a certain point, it's just a defense mechanism for their beliefs. They, when seemingly intelligent people reject all of the shit that they're saying, they tell themselves it's because they haven't bothered to really comprehend the argument in full. You know, if we took the time to read all six volumes of the set they just polished off, we would come to the same conclusion they did. Of course, I have to clarify that I'm not saying all religious people are stupid or that all non-religious people are smart. The whole smart versus stupid dichotomy doesn't work all that well when it comes to entire human beings, right? You have to be on an extreme for either of those labels to apply to you across the board. So I'm not talking about stupidity or intelligence of a person as a whole. I'm talking about the narrow stupidity as it applies to religion. A person can be brilliant in any number of different fields and still be a fucking idiot when it comes to religion. But honestly, if you have the mental capacity to be brilliant in terms of math or science or philosophy or something, and you still can't puzzle out the God thing, that actually makes you dumber on that subject than a person who's just too dumb to puzzle it out.